Hi everybody, O.B. Gold here with some timely information. On the front page of today's Los Angeles Times, July 3rd, 2011, is an article called Too High to Drive. It's about cannabis, driving, and DUI. This is a major concern of law enforcement, federal, state, and local officials who say if cannabis is legalized, it may result in more traffic accidents and more fatalities. Here are the facts. Some studies have shown that cannabis plays a minimal role in traffic accidents. In fact, research has shown that drivers using cannabis have the same accident rate as drivers who are drug free. However, if alcohol and prescription drugs are added to cannabis, there is a high likelihood of impaired driving and DUI. Now here's your tip to avoid a cannabis DUI. Law enforcement is looking for three things to show that drivers are impaired. Cannabis drivers tend to drive slower than the traffic flow. They leave more space than usual between the car in front of them and their car, and they occasionally weave in lane. If you are pulled over in a DUI stop and your car smells like a used bong, you may be subject to a field sobriety test, arrest, or a ticket. We don't want this to happen for you, so your strategy is keep the smell of your car clean, don't smoke in your car, and keep your cannabis in the trunk. I want you to be high, I want you to drive and enjoy yourself, and I want you to be safe. The things I'm telling you about are part of the OB Smart System, which is contained in the Hot Pot Handbook, How to Be Higher, Get Healthier, and Save Tons of Money, you can find the Hot Pot Handbook at thehotpothandbook.com. Thank you.